Hi, in this video we are going to learn a certain quantity is how much percent of another given quantity. Like in this case, as you can see, I have already noted down one statement in which we have to find how much percent is $20 of $250, right? So, what we have to find? We have to find how much percent is actually $20 is of $250. We have to find the relation between them in terms of percent, right? Suppose we have $250. And I take $20 out of this, right? So, how it has to be written in terms of fractions? In terms of fractions, we write it as 20 out of 250, right? And fraction is what? Fraction is a part of a whole, right? And now what we have to find? We have to find how much percent is this. So to convert a fraction into percentage, what we do? We just multiply that by 100. The 0 and the 0 will cancel. 25 ones are 25. 25 fours are 100. And 2 fours are 8. So $20 will be 8% of $250. Right? So how we have done? Yes. First we have written them in terms of fractions. Right? And to convert a fraction into percent, we multiply it by 100. So if we multiply 20 by 250 by 100, we are getting 8. So $20 is 8% of $250. So this is the result. We'll take few more examples like this in the same video. So before that, let me erase this. So we have one more similar problem in which we have to find how much percent is 30 kg of 240 kgs right 30 kgs out of 240 if I write it in fraction it will be 30 by 240 right and if I want to convert this fraction into percent what I have to do I have to multiply it by 100 right so 0 will cancel 0 3 ones are 3 3 eights are 24 4 twos are 8 4 25 is 100 right and this will be equal to 25 by 2 which will be nothing but 12.5 right so from here we get 30 kgs is 12.5 percent of 240 kgs right so this is the result okay and how we have done it first we have found how much fraction is this 30 kg of 240 kgs to do that, we have done 30 by 240. This will be the fractional value of 30 with respect to 240. And then to convert this fraction into percent, I have multiplied by 100. Then if we simplify, we get this 12.5 percent. Right? So now we have one more problem in which we have to find how much percent is 240 out of 300. So it can be any quantity, it can be liters, kgs, rupees, passe, dollars, anything, right? But we have to find the percent value of 240 with respect to 300, right? So suppose if we have 300 and we take out 240, how much fraction will it be? In fraction, we will write it as 240 by 300, right? And to convert this fraction into percentage, we will multiply it by 100, right? And how to solve it next? Yes, these zeros will cancel these zeros. 3 ones are 3, 3 eights are 24 and 0. So this will be equal to 80%. Right? So the trick to attempt this kind of question is you consider this as a whole and this as the portion of the whole which you are taking out. Right? So if you write it in fraction, this will come in the numerator, this value will come in the numerator and this will become denominator. Right? So we will get the fractional value of 240 out of 300, which will be 240 by 300. And to convert this into percent, what we do, we multiply it by 100. Right? And when we solve it, we are getting 80%. Right? So this is the way how we find the percent value of one quantity with respect to the other quantity, right?